Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about Queen Naja and also uh, her baby daddy, Clarence White. So what's going down is this, basically they have been a staple here on YouTube. They've been seen as a lot of people's couple goals. And as we all know, at one point she was married to a man named Chris Sales. And so what's going on is that for months, uh, Queen Naja has been, you know, basically dropping hints that she wants to be married. They're getting ready to hit the 10 year mark. I think they've been together seven or eight years i don't keep up with their channel or their relationship because y'all know how i feel about you know couple goals and couple relationship channels i don't care for them but you know they're on the shade room so we're going to talk about it okay so they've been together for a while and so she's been dropping hints literally for months that she is ready to become his wife and not just his baby mama because she was married before and then she ended up divorcing chris and so i'm going to go ahead and play you guys some tiktok videos of you know her trying to drop hints to clarence that she wants to be married so let's go ahead and check those out which means the thing like it's, if it's something you want to do no it's not something i want to do it's something i want to see i have a daughter no that's not my, that's not my greatest wish. <laughs> no that's what i'm saying greatest wish is crazy what is my greatest wish okay how can i um greatest wish is wow yeah like, what's my, like my genius <laughs> <laughs> so basically in this video she's trying to get him to guess her greatest wish and she's literally throwing all types of hints at him literally everything under the kitchen sink she's trying to give this man hints and he's playing willfully ignorant if you ask me so we're gonna keep watching what, a genius what is my okay what do you know would make me like, like so, so happy, happy to see you know you know me right yeah and you know like what would make me happy like you know that i'm a simple kind of girl right and you know that like it don't take much but one thing that i really do want and love to see is it's like a sentence it's not one thing it's a sentence you don't have to get the sentence for, like verbatim but just Okay, you're taking too long. I think you got this one wrong. Okay. What? Your greatest mm. wish is a crazy. I can't wait to do mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about the greatest wish. This is it. Right, stop thinking about wish. But that's what you said, so that's what is what, what do I wish for? What do I wish? Even your mom knows this. Like What is it? Just tell me. To see everybody that I love together in one place. You, I, you never heard me say that. You never heard me oh, mention it. Wish is wow. Clarence, that is a wish. That's my that's greatest it. wish. Wish <laughs> is wow. Clarence, that is a wish. That's, that's my greatest it. wish. So like I said, to me, he's playing willfully ignorant. Even I know what she's alluding to, what she's quote unquote hinting at, but he's still trying his hardest not to acknowledge it. That's like a desire. Like no, it's a, not a, like a, a wish and a desire is the same thing. It's, it's, a wish kind of sounds like it's like no, it's a wish thing. It could never happen. Like that's sometimes what I'm it feels like, like it. I'm thinking of like to have everybody I love in one in one room, like a like I feel Thanksgiving. Like we'll all be in one room one day. Like a Thanksgiving or like a, a just something fun, like just you know, like. But I thought you would have got that one. Like you know, I you know, I would have loved that. Nah, that was yeah, that, that was like. What you simple? I was thinking like way out the. Like what? What did you think? The of? wish, the wish part was throwing me off. What did you think? Like you go to heaven. No, I said it had nothing to do with heaven or hell or nothing spiritual. It was like here on earth. What do I want to see? I was trying to make it as like. I was thinking about like your kids finding love or your <laughs> kids getting married. No, like, we're talking about like we're see. in the present. Everything that I'm asking yeah, is like I, in the present. I was, yeah, I was thinking way outside of that. Okay. All right. Well. So that's my second one wrong. 
So, no, you're thinking we're outside the box because you're not really interested in getting married. Let's, let's keep it real. That's why he's trying to, you know, pussyfoot around and act like he just doesn't understand the hints that she's throwing out there. So now we have another video of her. She's doing like a question and answer segment from some of her fans. And so we're going to watch this video as well. That's very telling. After 10 years? 10 years? 10 years is fake. <laughs> well, no, those that ain't talking about, about me. 10 years? After 10 years, and y'all been living there. together for four years, so y'all do have experience with living together. What you got to say about it? I want to hear your take on it first. I mean, you should probably have a conversation with him, maybe see if he has that maybe in his head, or is he planning to do it? Or not, I don't know, maybe there's something stopping him from doing it. Maybe you need to communicate with that. Like, you know, 10 years is a pretty long time. Like, pretty long. Yeah, maybe y'all should figure to go to, like, uh, therapy or something and see if, like, what exactly is stopping him. If you've been doing everything that you could do, honestly, I just feel like a man knows. I just feel like he knows. He knows if you, like... What would you do in that for me? I will leave. After 10 years? Yes, I definitely... 10 years is crazy. It is. Now, it's very interesting that her cutoff is 10 years, but they've literally been together about seven, maybe eight. So there's really, to me, no big difference between seven and 10 or eight and 10. You're damn near at the 10 year mark and he still hasn't proposed to you. He's still, y'all are still not engaged. So to kind of, you know, judge this person like, oh, I would leave after 10. Well, is there a big difference between seven and 10? It sounds like he's kind of stringing you along, just like your fan who's writing in and asking for advice from you and Clarence. <laughs> what, if, what if she's like, what if she's like 48? 48? Like, what if she's like 48? You don't know how old that lady is. Babe, your life is not over at 48 or 50. I've seen 50 year old women. J-Lo is past 50. Like, it's beautiful women out there. You can still get yourself. It's never too late. I don't think it's too late. Nah, it's never too late. I'm not saying it's too late. I'm just saying I think that would make it a little more difficult. Yeah, you just don't know what Being the, the, the she's in because... Okay, I don't know how old these people are, but I'm going to assume they're at least in their 30s. They don't give me 21, 22 year old vibes. I'm assuming they're both at least in their 30s. So I'm not understanding what he means by 48. Do you not wish to get older in life, sir? So you think that a woman's worth, like once she hits 48, what, we should just throw her in the dumpster and just keep it pushing? Like, I don't understand that. It, like, people talk like women getting older is a bad thing, as if men don't age either. So by that logic, should a man who's 48 not be, you know, able to experience, you know, wedding bliss and getting married and walking down the aisle and, you know, getting married to the one that he loves? Like, why do people throw age in there as a factor as if age, you know, you know, cuts off their opportunity from being a wife or a husband? I think that's silly. And especially since, like I said, both these people seem to me to come off in their 30s. So you're only about maybe 10, maybe 15 years shy of somebody who's 48. You got to understand, in order to put yourself in her shoes, like you're saying it easy, like, oh, I would leave. But she hasn't left, obviously, because she's been there for 10 years. So she's not leaving for a But if that's reason. something that you genuinely, like, really want, and, the, and if you find out that your partner, like, has no... First of all, like he said, see if he has intentions of doing it. Have y'all ever talked about it? Like, has he might it, not. I'm not gonna lie, he might not. Ever he is, he might not. He but if that's something that you want, but maybe he doesn't want, then maybe you need to break up with your boyfriend to find your husband. 10 years, yeah, 10 years. He, he might not have it in mind. I'm not gonna lie. 10 years he is crazy, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. You think after 10, 10 years, like. 10 is a lot. That's like a decade. No, wait, is it? It is. Yeah, that's a decade. Y'all been together for a decade. So it's very interesting how they're both saying 10 years is a long time, it's a decade. Who, what a long time, as if they haven't been together unmarried for a long time. It's not like they've been together two, maybe three years. They've been together at least seven, if not longer. You know, so I think she's kind of reflecting on her own situation and she's also projecting onto him. And again, you know, Clarence is just trying to act oblivious, like he doesn't get it, like he doesn't want to be bothered. So this has been the talk of, you know, social media, the shade room and other places, you know, them not even being engaged yet. They have a child together. She has two children. And so she recently decided to post this video of herself in Mexico with Clarence and made it seem like, you know, they're engaged now. So we're going to watch this video.
Okay, I don't want to play the music, but you guys see it's titled Bride to Be with laughing emojis. And so a lot of people were commenting and they kind of felt like, you know, Clarence was bullied into, an, you know, into proposing to her. It didn't seem like he really wanted to propose to her. So a lot of people were leaving different comments um, on there. So because Eba and their mama had something to say, she then came back later on and then admitted to trolling everybody, which I don't find the humor in this, but okay, girl. So this is the post here. She says, this is clearly trolling, LOL. But even if it was real, look how people will find something negative regardless. That's why I'm going to the courthouse. And so she has her bride to be stick. But, you know, I don't understand the point of it. Like, why even post it? And then when you don't get the reaction that you want, now you're upset. So then after that went viral, her ex-husband, Chris Sales, who is the father of her oldest child, decided to go onto social media and do some trolling of his own. And then she ends up clapping back on him. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. Yes. <laughs> no, that was a close one on my soul. I thought they really got married. I was in my room crying day, night, and day in. Talk about it. But not on a serious note, baby girl, you do not troll us. You trolled yourself. <laughs> so that is what he had to say about the situation, which to me makes no sense. Because if they're, they've been divorced for a long time. And if he's in his own little situation ship and got a girlfriend, why is he so worried about what Queen Nyjah and Clarence have going on? He should be minding the business that pays him, okay? So Queen Nyja decided to clap back this morning, and this is what she said to her ex, Chris Sales. So Queen says, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin that he's making off of my name helps out a little bit with some of his son's expenses. Because I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. I've been so nice. He hasn't bought, he hasn't taught his son anything valuable. It's sad that another man had to come and do his part, shake my head. And yeah, he may have had me as a wifey quickly, but he also put bruises on me during the marriage, choked me up, ruined my self-confidence, called me ugly, calling my body ugly after giving birth to his child, carelessly stepped out on our marriage countless times, hogged all the money that we made and other unspeakable things. But laughing at me because I haven't married again yet, I'd rather take my time in a healthy relationship than be in a traumatic marriage. You would think that he would have done some self-work to become a better man after all of these years. But no, still a delusional, narcissistic liar. I can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him. He needs to seek the God he stopped believing in. Ooh-wee. So as you see, Queen Naja was not here for it. She clocked his tea and read his ass for the filth. So now, of course, Chris is responding back to the claims. He went on a rant on TikTok. So we're going to go ahead and listen to his response to Queen Naja right now. Look, man, y'all know how to come tell my side of the story. Look, I'm about to tell y'all what my BM said. Look. While he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he's making off my name helped with some of his son's expenses. Um, Cause I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. First of all, you make more money than me on my soul. Fuck is you talking about? And you know if you did ask me for money, you know I'ma give you the little change I do got for my son. Come on, I don't- I can't stand men who think like that. Just because I make more money than you, because I went to school, got my degree, you know, I have a good position at work, or I'm a content creator, just whatever the reason is, does not mean that you are all of a sudden off the hook for financially supporting your child. Yes, she can do it. Yes, she can afford to take your child on trips and buy him clothes and everything else, but it is the thought that counts. It is the point that regardless of what you make per hour, what you do for a living, you know that it's not free to take care, to clothe, to make sure that a child is well taken care of. So as a man, you should step up regardless. She's not asking you to pay $10,000 a month because you obviously can't afford it. But even if you come by there and give $100 a week, you know what I'm saying? A few hundred dollars a month to show that you as a father is, are still trying to financially take care of your child. That goes a long way. That shows responsibility. She didn't create the child on her own. So you don't get to just opt out because she decided to, you know what I'm saying, make something of herself and make good money. I cannot stand when men do that. Well, you make more money. So why should I pay child support? Um, Because this is your child too. What kind of shit is that? 
do that. Now, this whole time we've been separated, you have never asked me for money for our son. And I have never asked you for money for our son when he's with me. So, how did the child support even get brought up? I understand you're frustrated, but you don't put somebody on child support that takes care of their child or have a relationship with their child and wants to be with their child. And then it's okay for you to speak your truth about his dad online in interviews. But then when his dad come out and start speaking his truth, I haven't taught my son anything. I'm a narcissist. I haven't grown over the past couple years. Well, damn, how you know I ain't grown over the past couple years? I'm confused. How you know that? And then you said I ain't taught our son nothing valuable. How you know that unless you turned into Siri and you be eavesdropping in our conversations when he's over here? How do you know I haven't taught our son nothing valuable? Can you please answer me that? Please. I'll wait. And then you say, I made you insecure. How? When you was already insecure, I may have added a little razzle dazzle to it. Not a little razzle dazzle to low self esteem and insecurity. Like, you don't do that as a man, especially, you know, as women, and especially when women are in the public eye, like Queen Naja. Like, we have to deal with enough with trolls and, you know, people disrespecting us online. Your safe space should be with your partner, should be with your significant other. When people are tearing her up in public, you should be the person who's trying to uplift her. And the same goes for Queen Naja. You know, when people are tearing up Chris in public and, you know, making comments on him, she should have been there to help uplift him as a man. Like, a, a, a solid foundation, a solid couple, you guys don't tear each other down because you have to do enough fighting in public. You know what I'm saying? With speculation and people having opinions of your marriage and your relationship. So no, it's not okay to add razzle-dazzle to low self-esteem and low self-confidence. You were supposed to be her protector and her husband, point blank period. But at the end of the day, what young couple haven't? Shit, I was insecure in our relationship. I started wearing makeup, shit. And then you said it's crazy. Another man had to step up in my child's life as if I'm an absent dad. Stepping up in which way? Stepping up because he have to? Because he's there with you? Because he's staying there with you? Like, of course he's going to step up. Obviously, I would hope you wouldn't be with the nigga if he didn't step up. But at the end of the day, that's not like I'm an absent dad or that I don't take care of my child, because I do. And my and my son know that he it, everything that my son asked me for, he got it. When he's over there with you, he's still calling and asking me for stuff. Whether it's V-Bucks, anything, he know he got it. Now, I do agree with Chris, what he's saying here, that I'm not necessarily going to give Clarence, you know, a pat on the back because he's taking care of their son. He's in the household. He should. If the baby's hungry or he needs something, as another adult and parent in the household, you should look out for him just like he would do his own biological child. So I definitely agree with Chris here. And this is what we say when we talk about broken homes. When these men think they can create, you know, families, have children in three to eight to 12 different households and think that that's okay, you can only be one person in one place. So you have a man in the household, he should step up and do what he needs to do because he's actually in the household. The biological father is not. So I do agree with Chris here with him saying that. Like, I'm not going to give Clarence props because he's in the household stepping up, as he should. Point blank, period. Only thing I haven't got my son is a monkey. Because who the fuck about to... I'm not taking care of no damn monkey, and I know it can't go over there. But everything else, our son has everything he needs and wants. He don't want for anything. He don't need for anything. And then you said you hope our son don't turn out like me. Is that because we didn't work out? What do you mean by that? Because I'm not a bad person. You know that. I may have failed as a boyfriend or a husband, but overall, I'm not a bad person. <laughs> okay? On my soul, I'm not. Any nigga that's around me gonna tell you I don't put so many niggas on, I didn't help niggas do this, do that. So where the fuck? Now I hope he doesn't be like me in the sense of 
You feel me? When it comes to relationships, you feel me? And the mistakes I did. But at the end of the day. Okay, I can respect that. I can respect what he's saying. You know, because Queen Naja put him out there like he's this horrible person. Again, I don't watch all these people. I don't know the dynamics of their divorce, their relationship. You know, it's just me on the outside looking in. So I can respect the fact that he has grown and he's taking responsibility and saying that I hope my son does not make the same mistakes that I made in my marriage, in my relationship with women. I hope he doesn't take on that particular trait of mine, which I know is wrong, which I know is toxic. So I can respect him for taking ownership of that of those portraits that he does exude. The fuck? Someone please help me out. And then you said I'm hogging all the money. Well, that's how clearance feel. Now you hogging all the money. You feel me? Like, listen, follow my Twitch, Chris Sales TV. I'm gonna go live talking about this today. So go follow me. On my Twitch, Chris Sales TV. We're going to talk about this today. We're going we gonna to get more into depth. So go follow my Twitch. I'm going to go live in a couple hours. So make sure y'all following me, man. I'm just irritated right now. I ain't even calling y'all back. I'm about to just hang up the line on y'all dumbasses. Okay, honey. I guess he hung up on us, the next caller. So that is what the ex-husband Chris Sells had to say. You know, the whole situation is crazy, but I don't think that Naja, uh, Queen Naja is way too old to be trolling at this point. Either, you know, Clarence is going to shit or get off the pot. But, you know, trolling your fans and then getting upset when, you know, the trolling doesn't work is silly. You know, I, it doesn't take that long to want to marry somebody. So either he's ready to or he's not. But I'm not about to sit here and beg a man to marry me or to be with me. Um, a man knows when he has a good woman. And if he's, you know, too dumb enough or too blind enough to see that, that is on him. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your youth. You know, hoping and praying that somebody's going to see value in you. Uh, dust yourself off and try again. And that's the, you know, the advice. I would give to any woman in this situation. If what you want is marriage, if, if what you want is a steady commitment and that man is not willing to give it to you, then at that point, you need to save yourself the headache because it does not take that long. Men know what they want. Men know a good woman when they see one. And if they don't recognize what's in front of them, at that point, cut your losses and find you somebody who will love and appreciate every bit of you. So that is my advice. And that goes to men as well. OK, that advice is for anybody who's looking for something in a relationship that you're not finding. It does not make any sense to be in a situation where you both are miserable and putting on a front for social media or for the cameras or for attention. It's not worth it. You only have one life to live and you need to live your best life when it's all said and done. So thank you all for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Queen Naja, Clarence and her ex-husband, Chris Sales, and their drama. How do you guys feel about Clarence still not proposing to Queen Naja? How do y'all feel about her trolling? And the last but not least, how do you guys feel about Chris Sales and what he had to say about the situation? I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Let's go ahead and get the discussion cracking. Make sure you guys hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video as well. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.